Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Throughout the reading, signs and gender may be mentioned, but please keep in mind the energy is fluid. He could be a she, she could be a he, the roles could be reversed. This could be past, present, or future. All right. Please be discerning. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Four of Cups. Four of Cups. And cutting the deck here is a Four of Wands and the King of Pentacles. The bottom of the deck is a Queen of Pentacles. Okay. The Magician here, the... Wow. King of Pentacles. Aquarius, you have something amazing that's about to happen. You have Nine of Cups here and the Nine of Swords. Something here is nearly over. Um, and you're manifesting wish fulfillment. You're manifesting like all of your hard work is paying off. Like something here is definite. All the other signs I've, I've done a spread, but this is something that is just destined and it's definite. It, it's like this, this offer, this offer, it's been signed, sealed. It's been delivered. It's on its way to you. You have the King and Queen of Pentacles out here with the four of wands. So for some of you, there's very solid foundation coming here okay whether you're male or female whether you're single or partner you have a lot of abundance that's coming towards you um definitely wish fulfillment the four of cups is here this feels like an opportunity that was previously missed um or there were some kind of delays here or confusion it's something here is moving forward at a, at a very rapid rate as well with the chariot being here, the nine of cups and the nine of swords. It seems like someone is, is shocked to know that you're moving forward in this way, though. But the temperance with the magician and the ace of swords, you have a brand new beginning here. There's a lot of mental clarity coming towards you at this time. Like you're clear about something. The Wheel of Fortune, a very positive shift or change happening with the Hermit card here. So you've possibly been going within. You've been learning something, studying. Um, this could have been your just self-healing. Okay, you could have been working on some type of project. But I don't feel like whatever this is, is something that you've maybe shared with many people about. Wow, it just started thundering. Um, But you have this, like I said, this mental clarity. So for some of you... um. There is a partnership here. The Queen of Pentacles is being clarified with the Ace of Swords. You're clear about something in your life. There's been some type of communication. You've received a download here. You've cut something off or cut something out. And then the King of Pentacles, which could be someone that you are connected to. This is definitely two becoming one. Okay. This King of Pentacles is manifesting. So for some of you, you have manifested a partnership. I don't know if you're currently with this person or not, but there is for sure a significant partnership that is being manifested here. You have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with the earth sign or you may have earth in your chart. You could have Sagittarius in your chart or be dealing with someone with Sagittarius in their chart. But the, I mean, the four ones with a the temperance, there is a union or a connection here. It's being brought together. Okay, and it's very much protected, but this is your emotions and your ideas are, are currently being merged with someone else. And this is going to be very good for both you and whoever this other person is. If this is, you know, a situation where you are connecting with someone, okay, for some of you, um, for some of you at this time, I could just be speaking to someone who is a, you know, a divine feminine and a divine masculine here in this reading. But I, it, it's obvious that many of you, you are trying to manifest something in your life. There's a very powerful breakthrough coming. All right. The four of cups here. Yeah, something was missed or someone didn't see a magical opportunity. Someone can see something now. So there could have been some type of temporary break or there will be here. The four of cups, especially if there's a masculine out here. Some of you could be dealing with a masculine energy that could be a Virgo for sure with the King of Pentacles and the Hermit card being here. Um 
this person is is receiving some kind of download. For some of you, you are establishing some type of telepathic communication with the person as well because the Queen of Pentacles has an Ace of Swords. So you're communicating something to this King of Pentacles that's helping them to figure something out about their tools and their resources and how to manifest something. You could be learning more about the law of attraction, but I feel that someone here has been missing opportunities because they were missing something. You've provided someone with some type of key or solution to some some type of pressing issue or, or challenge that they've been facing. And what it is doing is it's inspiring someone now to work very, very hard to bring about some kind of security and stability. Um, someone here could have been stressed out about some type of security, stability, making an offer, or even their finances. But something is changing. The bottom of this deck is a two of cups. So yeah, there's unity here. There's unity, there's a union, there's balance, for sure in some type of partnership or relationship. You and someone are choosing to be committed. But the four of pentacles is here in the reverse. So there's a situation out here that has had some type of, there's been financial challenges in a relationship or some type of connection, even if it's just business. You have the temperance card in the reverse. Financial challenges has led to someone having a lot of uh, I just, marital issues or relationship issues. And with the Ten of Swords here, you definitely could be dealing with um, heavy Sagittarius or Virgo energy. Um, but with the Temperance in the reverse and the Ten of Swords in the reverse, this is the feminine and masculine energy. Something has been imbalanced in this situation There's been a lot of hardship in a situation here, but you're being advised right now to really trust your intuition about this connection. You're moving forward, but you're clearing away a lot of the challenges here. The lovers is in the reverse. So it's like you and someone, you have, your connection has been affected by something outside of the two of you. And it could have to do with finances family, career, um, somebody has been penny pinching. It's really thundering. And here is the emperor here. See, you're being, you've, you've been affected by this masculine. Okay. So you have a masculine out here who is, kind of just been like wandering and it seems almost like aimless. Some, there's a masculine out here who didn't recognize an opportunity or they didn't recognize that their mindset or something was affecting their overall stability and security. This person is now recognizing the truth about a financial disappointment. You have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse and the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So someone here was getting the wrong information, the wrong guidance. They were being misled or they were operating out of ego. And this led to a major like financial disappointment or somebody here is, is either very materialistic or they are experiencing financial hardship. Someone could actually be experiencing like financial burdens because they're too focused on money. OK, it, it, it's something here about someone's just their their mindset about something is warped. Or this is how this person was when when you met them. But the strength card is here. So it's like for some of you, you've managed to offer someone some kind of kindness or compassion, despite the fact that they're experiencing some type of imbalance in their life. Yeah. And this is allowing someone now to come to go through some kind of recovery or redemption, restoration. I'm hearing recovery, redemption, restoration. Like somebody's faith is is being has been tested, but someone is about to be redeemed. Like something is coming back around, but there was absolutely a loss. It feels like um to be honest, you met a person and this person could have been carrying like this divine energy, earth angel type energy, but some, something was hidden. It, it, it just wasn't as used. 
It doesn't match your expectations. Whose reading was that that I did? I think Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Virgo for sure. Capricorn, Virgo. Somebody has Capricorn, Virgo, and or like Sagittarius in their chart. I feel like you may have met someone that came to you carrying like that fiery, passionate energy. But you can go and listen to the Capricorn and Virgo reading. Someone here has been very stuck on like a toxic family situation that, that came out strongly in the Virgo reading that I did. Also, you guys are becoming these spiritual leaders and ascending masters because of your own personal experiences. And I feel like you've learned a lot. And it's like now you are teaching someone the things that you've learned, but you could meet a person or you've already met someone that they may not be quite as spiritually enlightened and as awakened as you. This person may be very much like a conformist. They could be very religious, um, very closed minded. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't know if you can hear that thunder, but it is so loud. Yeah, somebody though has been one. I feel like somebody has just gotten some really bad advice. Now, if it's spiritual advice, someone has gotten information from some type of dark priest or or high priestess, or they've gotten guidance from a friend or a family. Somebody has gotten information from someone that they trusted, and this information or this mindset, programming, or conditioning is the reason why someone has been unable to actually have any type of personal freedom. And it, it's the reason why if you and this person are meant to come together to build something, whether it's romantic, business, or both, there's been this major blockage here. But something is shifting and changing. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. Because you're communicating a truth to someone you're communicating the truth or you're choosing to leave this person in the cold. It could be a little bit about you choosing to leave this person out in the cold is what may actually wake them up. It doesn't really feel like you're leaving this person out in the cold. It feels more like you are advising this person that there is something that they need to leave behind. There is a person or a mindset that you or this person needs to leave behind because the two of swords is here. Yeah, this person has been very naive. Okay, this is you or this person. Someone is, they come off as a little naive or irresponsible. They could be very impulsive. They just, somebody makes bad decisions. It's because of their mindset. This this person is, is stuck and, and they're not unable to receive any kind of wish fulfillment because the moon card is here. It's some type of illusion. Like this this person is, is somebody is fighting against something and they could be trying to hide this, but it just feels like, again, the biggest thing is it's an illusion. Somebody is unable to recognize that they're actually blocking themselves or they're a part of a, a group or religious organization or community or something that is telling them that they need to do something one way and it's not working for this person. And you may be the like this person saving grace that like you're trying to exp explain to them that they need to stop listening to something. The Empress is here in the reverse. So someone could even be listening to their mother or a mother figure or someone here, their mother is very karmic in nature. This could be a man or a woman. And therefore, when this person is in the presence of like an actual divine feminine or masculine or a person that embodies that high priestess energy, they... Your light is shining the on this person and it's, it's showing someone the reason why they're experiencing blockages, why they can't actually manifest abundance. Someone here, this is specific, someone has really struggled with manifesting abundance because they have some type of difficult or painful situation with their their mother or a mother figure that they haven't really been able to let go of. So if this is someone who was previously in a relationship or married and they have kids with someone else, that situation is still affecting this masculine. They also could be um, experiencing a lot of financial loss because of like a divorce or something like that. But I'm also getting here that there is a, a, a feminine or a masculine here 
who has some type of mindset or emotional blockage because they don't have the best relationship with their mom. Either someone here has a very um, somewhat toxic relationship with their mom or someone sees their mom as like super divine when this person is actually a poor leader. This person is not a good example of what like a wife or a mother or someone supportive should be. And you see this happen a lot when people are raised by their parents who program them and condition them. When you go out in the world and you meet people who are different, naturally by default, you're going to assume that your parents are your hero, that everything they say and do is right. Until you get into the world and you realize that some of the things that your parents or your family have conditioned you to believe are never going to lead you to success. It, it's, a, it's a lot here. I mean, today is actually Mother's Day, but there's a lot going on out here around the, the, the mother and the feminine energy. This has to do with a mother figure, though. Like, And you have to be careful for some of you because... If you're dealing with a masculine that's having these issues with facing something from their childhood, you cannot allow this situation to block your success because what will happen is if you get too involved with this person, if they're not doing the work to heal, you will become the empress in the reverse and you will begin having creative blockages and be unable to manifest, you know, abundance for yourself. Something here is at a standstill. Some of you don't, you do need to understand. You don't need to be too naive or gullible or make any impulsive decisions with a particular person because you may not get out of the situation what you want. The two of pentacles is here. Yeah, someone here is juggling a lot. They're juggling. The chariot is in the worst and the five of wands. Someone here is, is constantly experiencing disappointment after disappointment. That Someone could be having car problems. There's just a lot of chaos, a lot of conflict and drama around a person. But this person has been inspired by you. Or for some of you, this is, is just a person right now who wants to take action. But again, you have to be mindful it's something here that's very tricky. Yeah, because you have the seven of swords here. So somebody could be trying to sneak, be sneaky, deceptive, or steal something from you. They're code, somebody here is codependent. Or there, or this person has dealt with someone who was very codependent or very bad with money. You have the world card in the reverse. I feel like you need to, if, if you're experiencing this situation with somebody, you need to free yourself from it. Somebody here is, is very stuck on the past. The six of cups in the reverse. Somebody is stuck on the past and they're looking at, so I'm telling you, somebody here has like mommy issues or baby mama drama or something. Somebody here, the ace of cups does not know how to love because everything that they do is based on some type of validation or approval from like friends and family. And now the justice card is here. You have to make a decision to remove yourself from this person or to communicate the truth to this person about what you're seeing. Because this person right now is a four of cups in the verse. Someone is sitting around wondering like, why can't they have a passion new beginning? What is blocked? Why are their finances blocked? It's because this person, they're looking at something through rose-colored glasses. This, somebody here is, is idolizing their friends or their family. Somebody who has given them some type of attention or validation. This is when people don't understand all attention isn't good attention. All advice is not good advice. Just because someone is older than you doesn't mean that they're, they're more wise than you. Somebody is trying to come up with a, a plan that's going to bring about a lot of financial security and stability and give them a sense of, of, of accomplishment. But like they're constantly being overwhelmed with loss and grief. The page of Pentacles, dang, in the reverse, and the four of wands in the reverse. There is like no, no happy home here. So I don't know if this is a past person for you or what, but somebody here has been avoiding responsibility and the judgment in the reverse, it's like someone is super critical 
And you have a person here who has refused to go through a spiritual awakening. And here's the hermit and the fool. Somebody is at their breaking point. They have no choice now but to go with Anne and, and start their spiritual journey. That's what this is. Someone here, and for some of you, this could actually be like your soulmate or someone. You've inspired this person. They have been running from their spiritual journey. And now they're being forced now. To the two of wands here. Yeah, this person is being forced. If they want to have any sense of accomplishment or success in their life, they are really going to have to see the truth about their friends, their family, their community, and their mindset. Because this is somebody who is just kind of lost. And I'm assuming this person is under the impression that they, they know something, but it's like the, the, the proof is there. that It's obvious that they don't know something because they keep on experiencing all of these blockages and delays. This is someone that some of you are dealing with or a person from your past. For some of you, if you are dealing with this person, this person is in your life for a reason. You're meant to teach them something or show them something. Whether they're in your life just for a lesson or for a lifetime, you're meant to show this person something or just your presence is helping them to debunk some type of myth or see the truth about themselves or their family or whatever. Yeah, the temptation card is here. It's the That's the devil energy. And then you have your love and soulmate. You have attracted, this person is very drawn to you. This person is very drawn to you. They find that you're so beautiful because you're so wild and, and free. You have somehow been um, connected. This is somebody that's like, Possibly like a twin flame or a soulmate, but there's a karmic lesson. You're inspiring someone now. See, it's like you have this light here. I don't know. Um, this person is is close to. Hmm, I don't because I'm seeing two different things. For some of you, this could be two different people. Either you have someone right now who is toxic and codependent trying to leech on to you or you have a person who has some type of toxic mindset or belief that you've been sent to help show them something and on the other side of this lesson it may lead to like a some type of commitment or something like, it, it, this could lead to union. But um, it feels like for some of you, you're being prepared possibly for a union. You need to have faith here. But first, you have to heal. Someone here is going into a serious commitment, but there is some type of toxicity here where someone is in their ego. And, and, and a person here, the card says, how teachable are you? Someone here, Phoenix Rising, has to go through a transformation and you're going to have to let go because this is a cycle. This is some type of karmic cycle though of somebody not following their own dream. So whether you're with this person, you're being encouraged not to settle. It doesn't matter how much you like a person, how much they like you, you shouldn't settle because someone here, I feel like someone is actually triggered by you being so carefree. This is someone who is very, used to being like restricted and 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 here you are like you offer this healing type of energy because you have faith because you've already completed some type of cycle yeah like somebody wants love but the way they want love is is different from the type of love that you're offering somebody doesn't realize that the way that they love is based on how they were raised and it's it's an element or a component to it that's very toxic. And I said this, I can't remember which reading it was, but literally somebody here thinks that like they come from the best family and, and everything is perfect. And it's because they haven't gone through an awakening. Somebody doesn't realize that they've been conditioned to believe a lot of very false narratives about people, about life, about security and stability. This is either you or someone you're dealing with that is currently 
about to really find themselves. Because with this devil card coming out first, Capricorn energy, it's, it could be out here. Someone here is being tempted, okay? Like somebody is, sorry, like being tempted where they, they could actually end up making a, a very bad decision soon if they don't learn to see something from a, a different perspective. Because somebody is being tempted right now to what it is is somebody is somebody want, wants success without going within to heal. So somebody here is is possibly even using money as a way if somebody feels like money or success is going to bring them some type of validation and therefore they're not really following their heart or opening their heart they can't really see the bigger picture and i feel like here you are you're this this light being and perhaps you're encouraging this person to focus more on on love and self-love because i feel like you're trying to express to someone like I, how you know maybe you found the beauty in life by Understanding the importance of being in the in the like the, the the high frequency and vibration of love, but this person they don't see it that way. This person has some kind of poverty mindset or a lack mentality. This person definitely is having financial issues, but they right now like they don't want to give you any type king of swords in the reverse. This person is 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 coming off as, as mean or detached, competitive. Like, th this person is in a distorted energy right now. They feel like they have all the answers and they don't. This person is operating fully in their ego. But that it's like they were sent to you for you to teach them a lesson. Even if you're not in their life for a lifetime, you're going to teach this person something and they're going to teach you something your relationship with this person is going to force them into a have an ego death. That's the best way I can put it. They're going to absolutely have an ego death. And they're especially going to have an ego death. Yeah, letting go. When you choose to let go. Look, the Queen of Cups and the Empress is here. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Seven of Swords. And Justice. There's also... Somebody has some kind of sneaky plan about money or there is some kind of secrets or lies within a family dynamic. The seven of wands is here. Wow. And the three of pentacles and the nine of wands. So there's a lot of deception here around something with money. And it's about to be balanced out. Someone has been blocked from some type of team work, collaboration, or a project, and they've been in this nine of wands energy as this wounded warrior here, the strength card. So you you really could be, like I keep hearing save and grace. Someone's family or like their family, this toxic family dynamic, the mindset that someone has been taught or this their family has stolen something or put them in some type of really bad situation. I feel like you're offering a person some type of comfort or strength or encouragement. And because of that, this person wants to be able to move on to peaceful, calmer waters with you towards a relationship. So you've been sent as someone saving grace. You're encouraging someone to get out of a cycle because they, they just have the wrong mindset. Yeah, eight of cups here. This is going on some type of new journey. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody doesn't understand why things are just not working. All this person's plans are failing. Justice card here and the tower. But like this is divine justice. A tower moment here. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. There's something here about money that somebody is about to get the truth about. The Tower, the Justice, the Seven of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. There's about to be a major breakthrough here. But somebody has been lying. This could be some someone's ex-wife or a mother figure. 
or something like that. But someone, someone has been lying about what they're doing with money or taking money from a person or something like that. The emperor, it's this emperor. This emperor is about to receive judgment. I'm, I'm sorry, justice. And there's going to be a celebration. They're going to be able to move forward. So, Ace of Cups. If you're the divine feminine, you literally are freeing this masculine from something that has kept them bound. Their finances have been bound. This could have been something even with their family. Like some, this person has been lied to, tricked, or bamboozled. But this person is choosing, they, they want to come towards you with an offer. But this person, there is something that they've been holding on to, some kind of heartbreak that has like had them out in the car. Well, this person, they couldn't offer you much, but it's like they're receiving a wake-up call. Five of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles. So if there was financial problems here or hardships, that's about to shift and change because this person is about to finally wake up and see why they're going through certain things. It's a person around them or it's their mindset. Yeah, somebody here has been in denial about relate about their relationships. Someone here has been in denial about they have that they have relationships with people who are misguiding them or taking advantage of them. Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. You have pride and courage. Someone needs to have more of a sense of pride in themselves. And have the courage to go after their purpose. Yeah. This feels like somebody has been full of a lot of doubt. Okay. But this has been programmed and conditioned into a person. To be very doubtful of their own purpose. Someone is, has been taught to get the, the attention or the validation or approval of people who are actually non-factors. But now someone is rushing towards this actual empress, high priestess, who is successful and abundant someone here is just like give me the wisdom that you have to have abundance i feel like for some of you if you're dealing with a person they're all they're they're really tired of juggling okay they're really tired of juggling and this queen of wands here this person has been getting advice from this could be a friend a family member or someone that's been giving them the wrong advice or they have someone that or or they have a friend or family member that's giving them the advice that they need to come towards you and they need to get themselves together. And it's got this person looking now. Okay, yes, yes. So you have a person out here that's giving a masculine advice, telling them that they need to get themselves together so that they can come towards you to make an offer. And that's going to require them to actually finally heal and let go of whatever this disappointment is. Someone here has been juggling because they're disappointed by some type of past situation that they need to free themselves from if they're going to have this level up and actually make a decision to come out of this hangman position to go towards a new beginning. This is like a someone finally needing to heal. Something happened to someone in their past and... It has blocked them from moving into their purpose. They can't even recognize that their purpose is, is calling for them because they're so stuck on the pain of something that happened in the past. So somebody here has deep wounds from like a past relationship with their mom or with like an ex-wife, an ex-lover, or if they have children with someone. But I feel like there's another feminine energy that's coming in, expressing to someone, or this could be you telling this person, if you're going to move forward, you really need to let go of that heartache and that pain because you're blocking yourself. Someone is their own worst enemy. And, and, and I'm saying this could be someone, but this could be you, Aquarius. This could be you as well. If you're wondering where is your money, where is your breakthrough, you're going to have to let go of some type of heartache, pain, or, or suffering, whatever that occurred in the past. You know, and I know it's easier said than done, but it's like, there could have, look, surrender to your full power and surrender to success. There's something here where a person is holding themselves back and playing it small because they keep looking at, at, at issues and obstacles and challenges from, from their past. And, and it's these, these past situations are keeping someone stuck in their ego and they keep getting in all into all of this drama. Somebody needs to let go 
of, of a, a person in their friend group or something. Because someone is very afraid of failure. They're stuck on the results of a situation of what's going to happen. But for you right now, you need to make sure that once you tell this person what you see, what you recognize, the next thing for you to do is to just release it. Surrender to what is and understand you cannot fix this person. Whatever is for you, it should be effortless. You're going to have to surrender this person to, to spirit, trust your intuition about it. And just surrender to the idea of some kind of miracle happening. You don't have to think negative about this, but you have a person or this is you that has a very, very unhealthy relationship in their life that allows them to think very negatively and is keeping them from getting onto their actual soul's path and journey. And it's blocking everything in their life. Someone's path is, is completely blocked through a lot of negative thinking. It's causing this person to be stressed full of worry and anxiety and they're procrastinating so someone's purpose life purpose is is under attack but it's like it's because this person they're so caught up on a past hurt or pain that somebody's energy is blocked that's what this is someone's energy is blocked so that this person's heart chakra is blocked well, this is you. And someone is wondering, why can't they manifest? It's something with someone's sacral chakra and heart chakra. Sac uh, it's the root, the sacral. See, somebody's just, their chakra seem to just be blown out. Honestly, I'm saying like somebody's root chakra, security, stability, what they were taught from their family. But this is a waiting game. It's, it's shock to hell. The, the creativity, the fertility, the, the willpower to go after, you know, Life purpose, that seems to be blocked. Somebody's heart chakra is blocked. Somebody doesn't understand the, the true importance of, of leading and operating fully with love and light. Somebody thinks that things are just, you know, happening to them. They're just at a crossroads because, you know, they're just in this waiting game. But the purpose here, and there is a purpose to you and this person dating for some of you because... Either they're going to help you to go through a major transformation or you're going to help them to go through a major transformation. Yeah, you and this person are supposed to be learning from one another. This connection is going to help you and someone tap into some, some creativity because someone's creativity has been blocked. It's like just hitting a brick wall because someone here, someone's mental health is, is not good. There's too much stress, fear, and anxiety. So you're teaching someone how to tap into their higher self how to connect to spirit because you're con you're in a contract with this person. Teamwork, marriage, and contracts. This is, you're in a spiritual union with this person and you are the woman that's going to, you have been able to discover a secret about this person being a high priestess and you're asking this person now or encouraging or inspiring them to do some extremely deep shadow work and healing. This is what is required because this person, they need to take time out to change their mindset. Deep thinking is needed in order for something to take place in the future. See, in the future, you and this person have an opportunity to come together and do some great things. But they are going to have to put an end to a situation that has brought them a lot of grief. You're in a spiritual contract with this person. So you're able to see something hiding in their shadow that they can't see. And they get, they may get very upset with you about this. Because this person, they, they don't really want to do this healing. But in order for them to move forward, they have to. And if it's not another person, this is just you. In order for you to move forward, there is something that you're going to have to heal within yourself. If somebody's money is blocked, though, because their heart chakra is blocked. Yeah, look at that. I cannot make this up. It literally says unawakened, ruled by ego and inner child. Someone has deep childhood wounds and they need to do shadow work because I feel like a person's walking around like they're confident. They're happy. Everything is fine. But it's a facade. This person is actually very unhappy because of something that happened in their childhood or with a person that they have children with. 
green eyed monster jealousy. Someone here could be very upset. And I feel like if you're the divine feminine, you may be called right now to look at this situation differently. To see this, this, this masculine and this distorted energy, you will quickly say, oh, they're karmic and, and they're just an awful person. But I feel like you're dealing with a person who, because of their upbringing or poverty or something like that, and they haven't done the shadow work just yet. This is the reason why you see this, this person comes off like they're greedy. It's because this person has experienced like some serious lack in their life. You may be feeling right now like you regret being kind to this person. Like I said, you know, surrender your attachment to the results. They may not be in your life forever, but you are meant to teach them some type of lesson here. Okay, because someone has options and there's a decision that needs to be made. Somebody could have two options in love. Look at this. Twin flame and heavy thinking and big decisions. Someone has to make a decision. Are they going to choose to be on this karmic path or be with their divine counterpart? But I feel like, and if this is someone from your past, they're fully awakened and aware of the fact that you were sent to them as their saving grace. And it could have been a missed opportunity. If this is someone fairly new, it feels like history is repeating itself. Like, you could be dealing with someone, and this is a fairly new person, but the situation seems like it's very similar to something that you've gone through in the past. The only way that this situation is going to have a different outcome, though, is if you choose to do something differently. And I just had a reading about this. It was in the Virgo reading. No, it was this was the Libra reading. You're not meant to be someone. You. It's not your responsibility to reparent this person. It's not your responsibility to play their mom or their dad or to overplay your role. Your light alone is aggravating this person's demons. You don't have to do anything extra. And if this person is your actual counterpart, like I said, your energy is doing everything that it needs to do. You don't really have to say much or do much. Your energy and your prayers, that's all that's needed. Because I'm telling you, you're tearing this person up. Because they are haunted by the fact that they've come into this awareness that they're supposed to be with you. And therefore, there is work that they have to do because they can see you doing work. You're inspiring someone, but you also have a person who you try to inspire, but they were ruled by ego, so they still didn't change. That person is in regret. And I just said that you have here marriage, forever commitment, and you also have someone that's watching you that's very much ruled by ego. Someone who is watching you with very deep childhood issues that was not like they refused to commit to you because they refused to do the healing work. They're in the background watching you very closely. And they actually want to come towards you and take action. But I don't really think that there is anything that will come of the situation. Somebody may be telling you that they want to travel with you or get get like get away. And, and they may come to you and try to have a conversation about the two of you just leaving the past in the past and, you know, moving forward together. For some of you, you know, you could reconcile with a person from your past. But for some of you, this past person they're they're bad news they they're just in very deep regret right now because they missed out on the opportunity with you past life love and you have retreat here so some of you it's like you really need to retreat you need to figure out the twin flame you're in a divine counterpart connection an addiction is affecting this relationship. I feel like somebody is addicted to pain, though. Past life love or someone is addicted to you. or There's some kind of addiction, but addiction can also just be an addiction to success. An addiction to, it, 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 to a people, to people pleasing, codependency. So you're in a divine connection right now 
your soul can remember this intense connection. This person can feel the intensity of this connection, but this person has some kind of blockage. It's an addiction. This person is addicted to people pleasing or getting some kind of approval from people or something like that. It's because their ego has been crushed. Yeah, everything will unfold in divine timing, but some distance may bring clarity. You need to distance yourself from this person to let them see what this is and what it's not. For some of you, this is a friendship or it's a soulmate or it's a friendship that will lead to a soulmate connection. A friend can be a soulmate, but I'm saying like, Some of y'all are dealing with like a soulmate and a twin flame. One of these energies is very much addicted to you. It doesn't want to let you go. You have a friendship out here that's leading to more. This is like a past life. It's, it almost feels like a, a, a third party situation from a past life. For some of you in every lifetime, you have a choice between this past life soulmate and this twin flame. And you have to make a decision. Who exactly are you going to, to be with? Balance. One person is giving too much. Abundance. You've done the work. So abundance flows to you now. And you need to find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy yourself. And clear your energy field. Yeah, you have to make a choice. And this is something that happens in every lifetime. You meet these two past life lovers every lifetime. And I feel like this is the lifetime where you're going to have to choose which one of these people do you want to move forward with. You could have a, a friendship with someone that's leading to more. This friend could be your twin flame or your soulmate. But whoever, it's someone out here, they love you. They love you. They accept you and respect you unconditionally. But you have a past life connection with someone that is very much addicted to your energy. So you have a friend who is a soulmate. Or you see them as a soulmate energy, but, but they could actually be your twin flame. I feel like you have a past life soulmate, a past life karmic soulmate that you're being taught how to release. They have to let you go. This is somebody who only wants to deal with you because of money or your energy. It's a narcissistic like energy. Somebody else wants to experience the goodness of being with you, but they're not like addicted to you or they're not coming to steal something from you. They're coming to build. You have one person coming to steal and another person is coming to build. You have to be discerning and choose which is which. The, the past person could actually have good intentions and you could be dealing with someone right now who has really bad intentions. Or the past person could be coming back with bad intentions, trying to block you from moving forward towards the person that has good intentions. You're going to have to be discerning to figure that out, but you have to make a choice here. Yeah, because this is something that keeps coming up. It's time for you to choose your life partner and you're being advised right now. You may need to look at things differently or your person. They need to look at things differently. There's absolutely a, a divine connection out here, though. And you and this person could be traveling or trying to have new experiences together. There is like some type of blessing that's coming to you and this person, but you have to make a decision and you're going to have to be able to make this decision and stick to it. So it's just a lot of deep shadow work and healing that's taking place because you're being prepared for a union. It's a lot of deep healing here. You're, you're being like shaped and, and molded for your actual life purpose and your life partner. All right. So, yeah, take pride in whatever your purpose is and release the doubts. So you have here doubt, courage, pride and purpose. You need to let go of feeling doubtful 
about a situation and it's okay if you don't have all the answers. You, you're not going to be able to control this situation. You need to, to take a step back and and really find the strength and the confidence to, to dig within, to pursue your own purpose. And you're going to have to really love yourself along the way. Some of you right now, you need to just kind of take a break, okay, um, until something makes more sense. Because what it is, is right now, you can't really control this situation. Someone that you're supposed to be with has to actually go through some type of growth or transformation, or this is you before the two of you can actually come together. But you have another person who is trying to create this illusion that they're growing so that they can get a chance with you. And, it, and it, it's, it's, it's a lot of deception. Okay, so I hope that this resonated and gave you a bit of clarity about this situation. There's a lot of stuff that came out. We have the, the shadow work around family, mother figures. Um, just it's a lot here. It's a lot of very, very deep healing that's taking place. And I'm talking about the other person mainly, but this could absolutely be you as well. You know, especially if you're in a divine connection, if they are going through this ego death, chances are you're going through it as well in some way. There is something that you're being advised to release right now in order to bring justice and balance to this situation. But remember, like I said, somebody is coming in with the intentions to build while another person is coming in with the intentions to steal something. Okay? Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, always go within so that you never go without. Please be very discerning at this time. Let me know if this reading resonated. This was the first Aquarius reading on the channel that I've done in over two years. I just recently started back doing Zodiac readings. So you all will have to let me know in the comments how the reading resonates and if I should continue doing these. Okay, so I'll talk to you soon. Bye.